real football boots like these, and then there are fake football boots like these. And no one really likes fake football boots, right? <laughs> That's cool. Because today I'm going to talk about how you can spot and avoid fake football boots both before and after you may have bought them, so you can simply get rid of them in your life altogether. And to do so, I brought two boots you might have seen before that are both as fake as they come. And they're basically a bit old because, frankly, I didn't want to support any of the fraudsters who make fake football boots by buying a pair of new ones. Now, to be clear in the terminology here, a fake football boot is a boot that someone has gone in and copied the original design of the real boot. And then often, it's made in China. Now, made in China is not necessarily always a bad thing, but for the fake football boots, well, they are always bad. I mean, they're often very cheap, and they're made only to look like the originals and not perform or fit like them. Now also, to be very clear, Nike, Adidas, Puma, Under Armour, New Balance and all the other big brands make what I would call takedown models. Now these are also cheaper than the high-end original models, but that doesn't mean that these are fakes. They're all original, they're just slightly cheaper versions, and you still get a lot of bang for the buck, value for money, with these bad boys compared to the fakes. I would take one of these every day of the week over a crappy fake. Don't buy them. But how do you avoid buying a fake football boot in the first place? Well, a good place to start would be to spot the fake before you actually buy it. And the first clue here is to look at the site that you're trying to buy the boot from. Does it look legit? Have you heard of it before? And if you can say no to either of those two things, well, an alarm bell should be ringing inside your head. And you should probably go and look for some reviews of the site on Google to see if you can trust it or not. Because if you can't and they actually sell fake football boots, people would be mad and they want to tell as many people about how they got scammed by said site. So Google is once again your best friend. Secondly, look at the price. Are the products too cheap compared to what an original product would cost. I mean, 99% of the time, you're not gonna be able to buy the latest and greatest Superfly 6 for $79. I mean, it just doesn't happen. Another thing is the name of the product, because if it's called New 2018 World Cup Top Quality Adidas Predator 18.1, 18 Plus, FG, Soccer Shoes, Football Boots, Soccer Cleats, Sneakers, Men, Pogba, which they sometimes are, I mean, it's probably not original either. And lastly, you should use your eyes, because fake boots often look fake. I mean, sometimes, they might look like colorways you know to be real, but then the materials are often so low quality that the boots are shiny in places they shouldn't be, or the colors simply don't match those of the originals. Other times, the shape is simply off, so you can tell it's just a cheap, garbage, fake version of the original. And even other times, the logos have been amended with only two or four Adidas stripes, and sometimes they're not even there. And other times, the fake sites go to extreme lengths where they make colorways that have never even existed. <laughs> I saw this CR7 Superfly 6 Chapter 7 in a Vapor version without any Nike logo on it. And here's a hint for you, it's fake. Now if you do take the chance and actually go buy a pair of fake boots, I mean you can do that as your money, I think, whatever, if you do that, there's also a few ways of spotting a fake when you actually get the boots in hand. And if the smell doesn't get to you already and reveal uh, that it's a fake with the plasticky smell, well, you should be able to tell that it's at least not original when you get the boots in hand, because sometimes they're either very stiff or extremely soft. And then you might think, aha, if they're just soft, I don't need to buy any original. If they're soft, that's all cool with me. But the thing is that it can also be too soft because the fake brands don't spend any money on actually making any structure or putting any solid inner liners on the material. So you will get no support in the boots if they're too soft whatsoever. But the thing that the fake brands spend the least on is the outsoles and the insoles. And looking at the insoles here, they're often thick and chunky and not very well made at all. Looking at the fake control here, it should be Boost. 
It's it's not. And the Nike insole says www.football.com. So obviously very, very original. But the worst part is the outsoles, because normally you want a relatively stable outsole with a stiff midfoot. But if you knew who can do this, I can guarantee you it's not original. Honestly, would you want to put your foot in this? Something like a... No, you don't. And in general, it's often easy to tell if you have an original quality product in your hand or if we're dealing with a cheap garbage fake. And if that isn't enough, look at the boxes, because normally, I mean, you get a nice Adidas box, but the box that has the A17 Plus fake control in it is an Adidas box that's well beaten up from 2010. I mean, come on. If it doesn't add up, it's probably because it's fake. So use what you know about football boots and quality in general and judge from that. So in general, stay vigilant and use your common sense whenever you're browsing for new football boot deals because buying a fake pair of football boots, whether intentional or unintentional even, might be illegal and undermine the whole business. But worst of all, you're gonna get a really crap pair of football boots that's made with low quality materials, might not be very durable, and also it isn't worth even a tenth of what you pay for it, despite maybe even being very cheap. It's just a load of garbage. What you should do instead is buy an original pair of football boots from a trusted retailer out there, like ourselves, for instance, at unisportstore.com. And if you have any questions whether a boot is fake or original, our guys at customer service would love nothing more than to help you out, answer your questions to make sure that you can actually get a product that you're happy with and you know is original. So stay sharp, folks. So there you go, my friends. A few tips on how you can spot and avoid buying fake football boots altogether and stay with the OG original good stuff. So let's say goodbye to the A17 Plus fake controls and the Mercurial Faker Fly 5 and never look at them again. But guys, how do you avoid buying fake football boots? You should let us know in the comment section or right down below. And then of course, if you want to buy yourself a new original pair of the latest boots, you can go and get everything your heart decides by following the link and go to unisportstore.com right over there. Now, of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button with the notifications on to not only make us real happy, but also make sure you see all our latest videos the second they drop. And finally, if you want to see all our latest reviews of the best football boots out there, original mind, click the playlist right down there to go have some fun. And with that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.